Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, normally I will have a guest on, but as you can guess today, I'm not live and I don't have a guest. So this is a pre-recorded um, episode uh, with regards to cord cutting. Um, and it's also going to have a guided meditation so you can actually do some of your own cord cutting. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray and I help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. And each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey. Um, and today it's cord cutting and how that can actually help you on your journey, as well as the guided meditation. So, um, we'll start uh, with, with this. Um, but of course, um, before I start, if you, obviously you'll be watching this on the recording, so please hit the love like button, um, as I do love watching the hearts and thumbs actually come across the screen. Um, and then if you're watching this on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so you can get updates on all my recordings. Obviously, um, you can't ask questions live, but if you have any questions um, that you'd like me to answer, then please feel free to put them in the comments box because I will be coming back to look at this. And um, if you've got any comments or thoughts, again, please leave them as I would love to um, respond to them. So, Question is, cord cutting. Why do we need to do cord cutting? Well, there are many reasons why um, we should do cord cutting. Because obviously, if I say obviously, but uh, you may not know, every time you connect with somebody, a cord will develop between yourselves. Now, if it's um, interaction with a shopkeeper or just a passing, uh, bumping into somebody, then immediately a cord attaches, but it's quite a thin cord. So as soon as you part company, that cord completely breaks and it doesn't exist. Um, now, when you're in more of a personal relationship with somebody or a situation, then those cords actually come a lot stronger. And when you part company, you still have those cords with you. Now, those cords actually tie you to that person or that situation. Um, so it's like if you break up from somebody, but you still continue to think about them, they still come into your thoughts, you still get emotions about them. Quite often that's because you've still got the cord attached to each other. And so you haven't broken free. I mean, most healers will tell you um, that when they work with a client, as soon as they, they finish working with that client, they will actually cut cords between themselves and that client. And the reason for that is because obviously the client doesn't want to be still connected to you and continuing with um, and picking up your energy. And you obviously don't want to be connected to that client um, picking up their energy because obviously you need to be walking your own paths. Um, and if that person then goes to another, somebody else for healing or another therapist, then obviously you don't want another cord being connected to them because obviously you could get quite a network of cords, which then starts bringing all confusing messages and everything like that. So it's quite important to cut cords on a daily basis. Um, it's really easy to do that. Um, you know, you can do it in the shower before you go to bed you know, and you just literally uh, see for imagine though the cords being cut away from you. Um, you know, just, just cleansing everything that's happened with his day, all the negativity and anything you might have picked up with anybody. But sometimes you do have those thicker cords and where those thicker cords come in, that's when you need a little bit more help and guidance. 
Now, I always like using Archangel Michael when I do cord cutting because I think he's an absolutely brilliant angel for this. And I normally um, see if imagine him now as um, having this great big silver um, fire sword. And every time it cuts through a cord, it cauterizes that cord so it can no longer grow back. Um, and that's kind of like the way I tend to work with Archangel Michael and cord cutting. Obviously, other people have their own ways of doing cord cutting. So if you've got any um, questions about cord cutting or any insights into your own cord cutting, how you do it, then please feel free to, to comment or ask questions here. Now, in a moment, we're going to do the guided meditation. So first of all, the usual rules apply. Please make sure you're not operating any heavy machinery or driving any vehicles because even if you fall asleep during this meditation, you don't want to be doing anything. Well, you especially don't want to be driving if you happen to, uh, happen to fall asleep because sometimes guided meditations will do that. And that's fine because even if you don't hear or follow the journey of the guided meditation, if you fall asleep, you are meant to fall asleep your subconscious will still be picking up what I'm, what I'm saying to you. And again, with the guided meditation, if you don't find you're following exactly where I'm guiding you, but you're going in a different direction, then again, that's absolutely fine because that'll be how you're meant to deal with, um, this, guided, with this guided meditation. And if when you're in this meditation, you feel that you need to cough, you need to itch, you need to scratch, then please do. There's nothing worse than sitting there with your eyes closed, beautifully relaxed, listening and going, my nose is itching, my nose is itching, but I can't scratch it, I can't scratch it, because that'll take you completely out of the meditation. Just keep your eyes closed, scratch, cough, uh, take a sip of water, whatever. So make sure you're not going to be disturbed, your phones are switched off or on silent, the door's closed, you're not going to have kids running in, um, uh, wanting your attention, um, you know, if pets come in, you know, as long as they're not going to disturb you, that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, and if I start coughing during this meditation, because I think I'm coming down with this cold bug that everyone seems to have got, then just ignore it. Um, just allow it to be part of the meditation for you. Um, and again, if you've been coughing and you're, when you start coughing, just allow that coughing um, and just keep your eyes closed and just absolutely stay relaxed. So I'll give my nose a quick blow before we start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Close your eyes. And as you do so, just take a deep breath in and on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. Allow the in breath to completely relax you and the out breath, allowing you to release everything that no longer needs to serve you now. And just allow every in breath to relax you and every out breath to release what no longer serves you. And just allow your breathing to become natural and relaxing. And as you do, I want you to see, feel, imagine or know a beautiful golden light above your head. It's a golden light of relaxation and safety. And can look, see, and imagine any way you wish. And now, see, and imagine or know this beautiful golden light moving into your aura. Just feel it coming into your aura. And then allow it to go into you physically, mentally, and emotionally. Just allow this beautiful, golden, relaxing, safe energy to come in and totally relax you. 
and just give yourself permission to totally relax. And as you do, I want you to see, feel, imagine or know this beautiful golden light, just filling the whole of your head. As you feel your whole head totally relax. The top of your head relaxing, your brow relaxing, your forehead, the back of your head, your eyes, your eyelids so heavy and relaxed your nose, your cheeks, your mouth, your jaw. So wonderfully relaxed now. And just allow this beautiful golden relaxing light to move down into your neck. And you feel your whole neck totally relaxed. It's this beautiful relaxing golden energy moves down into your shoulders. How wonderfully warm and relaxed your shoulders feel, just like warm sunshine coming down. It's this beautiful relaxation moves down into your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Totally relax. As this beautiful golden energy of relaxation now moves into your upper body, as you feel your whole chest relax. How wonderfully relaxed your chest feels as this relaxation moves down into your stomach. And you feel all your stomach muscles totally relaxing. And this beautiful golden relaxation moves into your back. And the whole of your back just totally relaxed. From the base of your spine to the top of your spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae relaxing. As this beautiful relaxing energy moves down into your hips and you feel your hips relaxing, your buttocks relaxing, your pelvis relaxing. As you sink further down into the chair or the floor, as this beautiful relaxing energy now moves down into your upper leg your knees, your lower legs, your heels, your feet, your toes, your whole body totally and utterly relaxed. How wonderful this feeling is of total relaxation. And now I want you to see, fully imagine, know yourself at the top of a beautiful staircase. It's a staircase of your own design and making and can look, see, fully imagine any way you wish. And there are 10 wide, safe, comfortable steps leading down to a beautiful room of safety for you beautiful room of safety and relaxation. And each step down we take from 10 to one is going to relax you more and more. So if you're ready now, take a step down 10, going deeper down the stairs nine, deeper down the stairs eight, deeper down the stairs seven, Feeling more and more relaxed. Deeper down the stairs six. Deeper down the stairs five. Such feelings of relaxation and safety. Deeper down the stairs four. Deeper down the stairs three. 
further down the stairs two, all the way down the stairs one. And as you take a step off that final step, you find yourself in a beautiful room, a room of relaxation and safety for you. And again, it can look, see, feel, imagine any way you wish. I'll just give you a moment to explore this room. Maybe feel, see the cushions, carpet, what's in the room. Maybe the sounds of the room or the smells of the room. It's your room and you feel safe and relaxed there. And now I want you to find a space in this room, whether it's on the floor or a couch, and just allow yourself to sit there. And as you do, just allow yourself to think of any person or situation that you no longer wish or want in your life. Personal situation that doesn't make you feel good, that makes you feel sad or down. Just get a clear image or picture of this personal situation. And if you feel the emotions, don't worry about that because they're just feelings, emotions, and in a moment, they will no longer be affecting you in any way. Now you start to feel a beautiful, unconditional, loving energy. Start to fill the room. Beautiful feeling of unconditional love. This penetrates everything in your place of safety and relaxation. As it surrounds you in a beautiful bubble beautiful bubble of unconditional love. And this beautiful unconditional love has a strong energy about it. And you realize that Archangel Michael has come into this room with you. Now you may see him as a winged angel. You may see him as a person you may see him as male or female. You may just see the energy, feel the energy, or even know the energy is there. This beautiful, strong, protective energy of Archangel Michael is there with unconditional love. And now with him standing there, I want you to have a look, just scan your whole body and see where these cords are, these cords that are connecting you to the personal situation that you no longer wish to have in your life. There may be lots of cords. There may be one single cord. They may be thin or they may be thick. They may look or feel any way you wish. But just know in a moment that those cords will no longer be attached. And now I want you to see, fully imagine or know, Archangel Michael's sword. It's a beautiful sword of burning blue fire. And you know that when this cord, when this sword cuts the cords, they'll be cut and cauterized. So they will never ever grow back and you will no longer be connected 
to this situational person. So now, just see if you imagine or know this beautiful burning sword, cut and cauterize all cords above you. Now see if you imagine or know this beautiful flaming sword, cut and cauterize all cords below you. See, feel, imagine or know this beautiful flaming sword. Cut and cauterize all cords in front of you. Now see, feel, imagine or know this beautiful flaming sword. Cut and then cauterize all the cords behind you. Now see, feel, imagine or know this beautiful flaming sword. Cut and then cauterize all the cords to the right of you. Now see, feel, imagine or know this beautiful flaming sword. Cut and cauterize all cords to the left of you. And now if there are cords in any other direction, See, feel, imagine or know this beautiful flaming sword cutting and then cauterizing all these cords. And I'll leave you for a moment just to sever and cut and cauterize any cords that no longer serve you and have no use to you. And just feel how light you now feel without these cords being attached to you. And now that you're no longer tied to this person or this situation, I want you now to see the person or situation being surrounded in a pink bubble of unconditional love. Beautiful pink bubble, unconditional love, now surrounding the person or the situation. Now just watch this bubble start to float up into the sky. Watch it float through the room, leave the room going further and further up to the sky, disappearing from sight and view, because you notice that the ceiling of the room has disappeared. And as you watch this pink bubble, just go all the way up and up and up, until it's out of sight, out of you and you know it is no longer in your life. You have sent it off with unconditional love and you've completely severed all ties to that person or situation. And you just feel yourself totally relaxed and lighter and freer. As you feel this beautiful unconditional love surround you and maybe imagine it as a beautiful pink or green or any colour of unconditional love just wrapping around you, filling every single part of you physically, mentally and emotionally. Maybe filling those gaps where the cord was at one time that has now been cauterized and is now being healed with this beautiful unconditional love that's wrapping around you. And now give thanks to Archangel Michael for helping you with the severing and cauterizing of these cords. 
And just allow his energy to now leave you in peace, still surrounded by your beautiful cocoon, unconditional love. And now it's time to bring the unconditional love back with you into the present time. And in a moment, you're going to climb back up those 10 stairs, coming up the stairs from one to 10, bringing back that unconditional love and that feeling of freedom with you. So starting to walk up the stairs now, one, Coming further up the stairs, two. Coming further up the stairs, three. Further up the stairs, four. Coming fully back into your body. Further up the stairs, five. Further up the stairs, six. Coming back fully into the present. Further up the stairs, seven. Further up the stairs, eight. All the way up the stairs, nine. Wiggle fingers, toes. Make sure you're fully back and present. Ten, eyes open. You're fully back, fully present, fully in the room. And welcome back. And if you've got some water or a drink by you, then please drink that as I give you a moment or two, just to make sure you're fully back and present here in this room. And how did you find that? It was a beautiful energy that I found. And I loved it when Archangel Michael came in and that beautiful unconditional love. Now please do comment on here how you found the guided meditation. And if you have any questions about it, then please share them here. No question is a silly question. And the question you may ask, maybe that someone else is frightened of asking and the answer will come from you. And if you want to share how it felt, again, other people may connect with that. So thank you so much for watching and I would like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And remember that when you cut the cords, you're not tied to a situation or a person. You can move forward with your destiny, with your journey, with your life. And if you need help on finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that person for you. Just reach out and connect with me as I would love to book a free 20 minute session with you and have a quick chat so I can find out more about you and how I can help you on your journey. And just to let you know, next Wednesday the 16th um, at 8 p.m., I'll be having a conversation with my guest Ananda, all imparting her beautiful wisdom on us. And she has a beautiful energy and a calm energy, which I think will totally help you. Um, and as you can see, I'm still quite relaxed from that guided meditation because I'm quite relaxed now and not my usual full on self. So, again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye.